Hey there, in this video I'll show you how you can add AI product recommendation to your checkout. Checkout extensibility is only for Shopify Plus and this will only work if you are on Shopify Plus. So let's start and see how we can add AI recommendation with a free app. The first thing is you have to install an app to customize your checkout. There is an app called Echo, Checkout Blocks and Bundle. They have a lot of features for checkout customization and bundles. Uh, you can use this app and it is free. Once you install the app, you can go to settings. From here, you will uh, go to checkout. Uh, you will see all the profiles that you have. If you have not upgraded your checkout to extensibility yet, you might see an, another message here. Since we are in checkout extensibility, I can see all my profiles here. You can duplicate it and this is the live profile. Any changes I bring to this profile will be affected um, to live customers. This is a draft one. I'm going to use this one. Let's click customize and it will take you to the checkout. You can see we have a lot of customization. For other customization, you can check other videos on the channel. I have a full list for all the custom customization for our checkout. From here, click add app block. From the list, the top one is AI product recommendation. It is going to use AI to recommend some product to your customer. Once you add it, it will instantly add the block here. Now let's move it to the sidebar because I want to show it in the sidebar. That is a better place. It is really up to you, but this is the block I have. So you just move it and put this above this review. This is a nice place. Now you may like to put it below the review. Once user read the review, they can add one of the product recommendation. Let's go to the block. You can see all the settings are here and it is really easy to customize. For example, you can add your own title. The default is you may also like. If you don't want the position, just put it in the center with a line like this. I like this one. There is a pro, uh, recommendation source which tell you how you want this to recommend. Do you want this based on the first item, last item, most expensive, least expensive item in the cart? That is how you will select it. And also recommendation algorithm. This one is important because you can customize, you can customize your own product to show as a recommendation. For example, let's say if we have this acne control in the cart and you want to display another product instead of this one. You can do that using the same app. I will show you in a, in a minute using complementary configuration, but the default is recommended, which is based on Shopify AI recommendation. If you add this block and you do not see any recommendation, it is because your, your store might be a fresh store and you don't have any order. These recommendations are based on the amount of order customer place on your store. Let's say if a user buy this one with this product, it is obviously going to recommend this product if user, another user have this product to the cart. And that's why if your store does not have any order, you may not see this recommendation, but you can configure the complementary, which is a custom um, recommendation. Next up, you have these layouts. You can let's change it to grid, which show this by, um, side by side. And let's say we want three products and it will show three products here. Next up, let's say if we want to have variance, you can display variance directly here. If your product have variance, it will display that here. Now let's just make it false. I don't want the variant. These are for translation. If your website has other language than English, you can change the variant label here. Um, this is add to cart level. Let's just make this add and you can see it effects here. This is a cool feature to include the price directly in the ad. And let's customize the button a bit and display the primary. You may not like this one because that is too big for a, a button, but you can make this small or maybe extra small. And also uh, they have some padding like base padding or maybe none. Oops, none is not going to work. Let's make it tight or maybe loose, something like this. These are all the options available. I don't like the price on the add to cart and I will go back to the secondary, something like this. And let us add to back, which look much nicer, but the price is too small. So I'll go back to the base price, which will look something like this. It's nice, but these are all the options available. And I think the grid layout look very nice here. Now, Let's say you want to customize the recommendation and you want to display your own recommendation. How would you do that? First thing, you will come to the setting and change the algorithm to complementary. 
if you do it right now you have to give it a full refresh to query the complementary product for example if i refresh this let's see what will happen uh, you don't see any product because we have not configured the complementary recommendation how does how do you configure that let's say if you have a face wash here and you want to recommend another product all you have to do is go back to your app there is another app from Shopify it is called search and discovery this is where you will uh, configure all the recommendation and search data go to recommendation in here you will find some product this is what I have configured uh, if I go to this product this is the complementary product I added this to and this is the recommendation which is auto generated you can also change this one if you want to browse and show some other recommendation you can do that but for the complementary if you set the setting to complementary this product will show since the bundle we have in the checkout does not have any complementary product it will display that as empty let's change this back to related and let's give it another refresh and by the time that refresh let's change a few of these products let's see if this one is in the cart i want to recommend some other product let's bring uh, let's say this hand wash added here and it should be on the top let's save this and see if we did change the recommendation and it impacted the website to do that uh, let's go back to here this is the acne and the hand wash is already here you can see it is already here but i don't know if it was accidentally here but that is how you can change the recommendation here you can select any other product and it should replace the hand wash um, that you see here that is how you can add um, ai product recommendation there are a lot of more features you can check other videos for checkout customization and all of them are free and you can customize your store thank you for watching i will see you in the next video